Happy blessings, this is me Taylor if you didn't already know that and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I know it's been a hot minute before I, since I made a last video, since I made my last video, but I'm back with a new video. I'm sitting down with my assistant, Emma. She's right there. You can see her, yeah. And she's gonna read me off some questions that you guys asked on Instagram. And we're gonna go get food and do like a mukbang, 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 whatever the thing is called. And she's just gonna ask me questions and you guys can get to know me and hopefully it'll be an interesting video. Who knows? We don't. So I get to make my own hours. Um, I don't have to listen to anyone. I get to just make all the decisions. That's my favorite thing about it. Okay. Is from Hales underscore Smarker, and she asks, "What laptop do you use?" A MacBook Air. The next question is from underscore Jadalyn Reese. She asks. How do you keep a positive mindset with so much negativity that's in the world? That's a good question. <laughs> I see, I have an answer for this and my gut instinct is to say, just don't care. Like, just don't care what people say, but that's that's easier said than done. Um, you know, I just tried it, you know, like the other day I lost my uh, debit card in Walmart and not in Walmart in the mall did you really yeah and I was leaving to, it was before Florida I was leaving to Florida the next day and I was like I don't have no money what am I gonna do and I had clients I had to shop for so I was like hmm I can really get upset about this but you know what I'm just not and that's one of those things where you just have to look at everything like positively I was just like you know what God's gonna take care of it and then it ended up working out because I got a new card and um, I needed a new card because I was using my mother's part of the business card instead of mine because I lost mine a long time ago in my house. That was pretty sure, which I ended up finding in the back seat. But anyway, so it was just, it was, it worked out. I ended up getting a new card the next day. It was really easy and I was glad I got a new card because I needed one. And so it all worked out. And that's just the kind of mindset you got to have when people are being mean to you. Just like, 
Okay, well, look at the bright side. Like, somebody cares enough to be mean to you. <laughs> like, they care enough to put you down, so they obviously feel threatened by you. Larissa, I think that's her name, asked, why are you deleting TikTok, and how do you feel it would be for you and Cam relationship-wise? If I deleted TikTok? Probably really good. I think people probably think because we started on TikTok, that's, like, an yeah. important factor in our relationship. It's really not. This question is from Natalie... Basham, maybe? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry if I'm saying any of these wrong. Did you have a thing with the guy you did the music video with in the past? <laughs> the to you. So, actually, I dated that guy when I was 15. 14, 15. For like nine months. But we're strictly just friends now. I do not have any kind of feelings whatsoever. I didn't have feelings while we filmed the video. Um, I don't have feelings now. I didn't have feelings before, after. In fact, after we broke up, I was dating another guy within a month, so. Which is not good. That's not good, but you know. Next question is, how old are you? Maturity wise or like, really? <laughs> Because maturity wise, I'm like 50 years old. <laughs> depends I, on the night. Yeah. <laughs> it depends when, where, what. Um, I'm 21. I'm legal, baby. How do you have so much confidence? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I made a TikTok post about it. It takes a lot of discipline. And I know that sounds stupid, but if you want to have confidence, you can't compare yourself to other people and what they have that you don't. So if you ever catch yourself comparing them, stop yourself and then compliment yourself. And I just know that God made me special. And I don't feel like I'm in comp competition with anybody ever. That's the best way to live life. The tea. There's a lot of, that goes into that. So if you want to hear more about that, I made an Instagram post about it. What is the best thing slash quote you've ever heard or read? Dang, way to put me on the spot. Um, I guess I don't have anything like super encouraging. Like the gonna like help a lot of people with but my dad every day like would say a prayer and you, you're more than a conqueror everything you set your hand to prospers and that's just a really good thing to like pray over yourself every day so yeah and now I say that to Cam and now Cam says that back so that's like our thing you're more than a conqueror Stuff like that everything you set your hand to prospers or turns to gold my dad used to have this whole prayer as we're running to the bus from we lived in the country there was this like long long driveway and as we're running to the bus my dad's just standing on the patio you're uh saying this whole prayer i used to have it memorized because every day i was like running and like saying it as he would and he would just say the same exact prayer over us, over us every day you're more than a conqueror everything you set your hand to turns to gold blah 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 you have favor with everyone you come in contact with like he would just say the same prayer every day and it was, it's just like a cute memory just to think back on and grow up. Do you think Cam is the one? The good thing you did is what I have to chew. A few moments later. I told myself when I broke up with my last boyfriend that I would never get in another relationship unless I knew he was my husband. And now you're in a relationship. So that means I'm pretty certain he's my husband. And unless he cheats on me, then I'm gonna give him a boot. I do not care. I don't care what the good Lord upstairs says. I mean, he wouldn't do that, but I'm just saying. You know what I mean? You know yeah. what you mean, Joe Bean? So I have full intentions of marrying him, and as does he. They all think we're engaged right now because Cameron posted that thing. That picture that said, big news coming. Oh yeah, what was that about? He just, it, we said that those looked like engagement pictures, so he just did that for fun. And I'm like, Cameron, now I have all these, someone was like, 
either you're pregnant or you're getting married or something like that. I'm like, neither. Neither. What is your biggest motivation? What is or who is or I don't know. Anything. Like, what is my motivation to like get up and work all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just want to be successful and I know that in order to be successful you have to work for it. It's not just going to fall on your lap. So, I don't like being lazy. I don't like not working. Like when I went to Florida I was like having a cow because I felt like I wasn't doing anything. And, and then this might be like a pride thing probably but I don't want anybody to like to look at me and be like, you're 21 years old and that's you haven't done anything with your life you know what i mean yeah i want to be able to say hey i've done all of this and I'm proud of it you know because nowadays it's like a trend to sit on your couch and be lazy and no one cares but that's my motivation i want to be successful next question okay what? hit me with it hit me with it do your you have shot. a specific workout routine Nope. No. No. <laughs> we we go to CrossFit, but really just me because this morning I went. She I didn't skipped know. this morning, guys. She skipped all week too. I mean, I have too, but yeah. <laughs> at least I went. But yeah, we go to CrossFit. Um, so it's not like a specific thing. We went four times. Four a.m. Yeah. Oh, I was like, we've been several times. I was gone. So we didn't go. Did you go while I was gone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we go at four in the morning. Well, we wake up at four thirty and get to get there by five. So, or we leave by four thirty to get there at five. No specific workout routine. In fact, before this, I didn't work out at all. I just started working out. So, from the Claire B one, mm -hmm. she asked, "How do you know you're in love?" How to know when you're in love or how do you know you're in love? How do you know you're in love? Um, how do I know you're in love? We'll answer that first. And then how do I know I'm in love? We'll be in two separate places. How do you know you're in love? There's a difference between being in love with the idea of somebody and being in love with somebody. Being in love with the idea of somebody is you're in love with what your future could look like or you're in love with the idea of who they used to be, but they're not that person anymore. Being in love with somebody is that like no matter, despite all of their flaws, you still love them and like you wouldn't change anything about them. And you would go to war for them, you'd die for them type of love. Like, it's just like, I don't know, how do you describe love? It's like a non exist it's like in, in the air. I don't know, but that was good. Thanks. That, that hit my heart. Thanks. Um, but yeah, and then how did I, Cameron will tell you this little cute thing about how he knew he fell in love with me, but we'll save that for another video. It's really cute. The next question is from Sam, Sammy Joe, 19. What skincare products do you use? Makeup wipes. That's honest. <laughs> I don't, I'm getting really bad pimples right here. You don't wash your face? Rarely. And I sleep in my makeup a lot. <laughs> That's not good. I'm aware, but this is really bad. Really bad. um, the, although I do do an occasional face mask, I have the nose strip things that I do, and like the vacuum thing. So that's mainly what I do. But I don't have anything fancy. Just makeup wipes. Yeah. And but sometimes I, she doesn't use. Yeah. <laughs> I normally have pretty clear skin though. I just don't. Lucky dog. I just don't get, I used to get a reoccurring pimple right here in high school from stress. And then I did one of those TCA pills myself. I got off Amazon, which I don't like, recommend doing. And it peels like your dead skin off. And it peeled that layer of skin off and then I never, the pimple went away forever. I had it for like three years straight, just like reoccurring all the time. But that, but you didn't know that. Question number 18 is from days underscore y1169. They ask, what's the best thing that has ever happened to you? <laughs> I don't know what the right answer is. That's really hard because there's a lot of really great things that have happened to me in my life that I don't feel like have happened to a lot of people. I think one of the best things that's ever happened to me is Cameron. Another thing is 
owning my own boutique and opening that. Um, my management, those are good. Those, those, those people are the best thing that ever happened. Natalie Ch Chavez asked, what purple shampoo do you use? That's a good question, Natalie. Um, it's off Amazon. It's called. Is it in a white bottle? Mm-hmm. And it's skinny? Mm-hmm. We use the same one. Do you know what it's called? Because I don't. Nope. <laughs> um, I'll Wait, send a picture should, to my editor it. and we'll put it right here. Mm -hmm. Is how tall are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm super tall. Like seriously, when I met Rachel in, in LA and she's like, dude, I thought you were tall. I don't know, it's because you gotta know how to pose in your pictures, but that's also catfishing because I'm only 5'1", but in my pictures and videos, I guess I look a lot taller. It's called confidence. The more confidence you have, the taller people think you are. <laughs> Which is really true. Like if you walk with your head all the time, people seem to think you're... The next question is from Minnesota202. They ask, how can I grow my faith? I'm trying, but I feel so discouraged. This is what I tell everybody in the beginning stages when they don't really know where they're at or like if they're trying to regain their faith, but like they pray and they feel like God don't hear them or isn't hearing them. I always tell them my best suggestion to you is if you're like struggling is, you know, as Cameron would put it, get on your face and cry for Jesus. I just say, get in your car, like, play your favorite Christian song or find one that you really like. If you don't have any, I will suggest you some and just blare the music and just sit there like in silence. Don't sing, don't do nothing, just sit there. And eventually like the words will come to you of what you need to say to him or you know, you'll hear him talking to you or like he'll just overwhelm you with the emotion of some sort. And that's my best advice for, for that. From Lauren. Crosswaite. She asked, what do you like most about Cam? Um, are we talking about like looks or his personality? Both. Okay, looks, there's like a good few. His smile, his abs, because let's be honest here. Um, his abs, three, number four, Um, five, he, he has really pretty eyes. Um, and yeah. Then for personality wise, is that he's really such a sweetheart. He literally treats me better than anybody ever has. He does treat her good. Yeah. And I'm, you know, he don't seem like it. He didn't, you know, when, when he was going through all that little phase, he didn't really seem like he was gonna be a good person, but. He's a really good person. A lot of people ask, what extensions do you have? Um, these new ones are Bellamy. The ones I had before were crap. So if you're gonna get extensions, Bellamy. Last and final question. Sydney.coover asks, do you have any pets? I have a dog named Coop, but it's not really my dog, it's like a family dog. And she has And I horse. have, and a horse. And I also have my other pup, which I never see anymore, her name's Audie. Yeah. Me and Aaron's dog, my ex's dog. Oh. I bought my ex a dog, and when we broke up, he got to keep the dog. Her name is, the dog's name is Audie. Mm hmm Yeah. Did you name it after Audie? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so cute. All right, so that pretty much sums up this little whatever this video was to be honest i have no Chaos. idea yeah <laughs> anyways uh i don't know if the lighting's gonna be good at all if the lighting was bad that entire video i'm so sorry guys this is a new camera i don't know how to work it so we're still playing with it yeah um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh I'm going to try to be uploading content every week. If I'm not, it's her fault. Because she's supposed to be keeping me on track. Um, anyway, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see my future videos because I promise you, I'm coming out with videos weekly now. Every week. 
I'm getting a video. It's supposed to be every Thursday, but I'm not promising that it's gonna be every Thursday. <laughs> but it will be every week. Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed week and I love you guys.